All right, guys. So this is the StartX remote starter kit. Now, I previously installed this into my vehicle. Of course, the PTS means push to start, so this one would not work on a uh, regular key start vehicle. I'll put a link to this company in the description, and that way you can go to their website and see uh, the different models that they offer. Uh, should be noted, you will need to purchase this from Amazon. They do not sell directly from their site. But today, what we're actually installing is going to be the CarLink 6. This is the ASC L6. And what this is going to do, it's actually going to connect with the StartX remote starter. And the StartX, of course, uses, a, uh, uses the factory remote. And they offer some different options, and that's what we're installing today. So instead of having the short range of the factory remote, this will let me use my cell phone and basically any place I have a cell signal, I'll be able to start my vehicle. It's going to be really nice, um, you know, if I'm at work or if I'm out shopping with my family and, uh, you know, when I'm getting ready to go to lunch or if I'm leaving the store, I'll be able to start the vehicle and that way it has plenty of time to cool off, you know, in the summertime or heat up in the winter. Um, so this will allow me to start the vehicle. Also turn the vehicle off if I decide I'm not ready to go yet or something else happens. Um, it will automatically turn off after 15 minutes. Um, you could, of course, restart it again after that if you so uh, desire to. Um, it actually lets me lock and unlock the vehicle as well. It'll let me view the temperature of the vehicle, the voltage, and the GPS location as well. So, uh, you know, a couple other conveniences. If you have an alarm system... Um, there's some extra wiring where you can hook all that up. I'm not doing any of that. I'm pretty much just using it for the remote start, you know, and the lock and unlock. So we'll uh, go ahead and get started on this. Once you remove the contents from the box, you can have a couple of different harnesses. Um, so here's, here's the main unit right here. And then the harness that we're using, again, this is on the uh, 2021 RAV4 push to start non-hybrid, is the HRN LLRS-01. And then you have the main harness. One thing I did want to note is they give you the uh, fuse holder, power wire, ground, and a signal wire. Uh, we won't be using any of that. Again, I'm interested in having the uh, remote start capability, not running a... Uh, you know, to, to the alarm system or any other accessories, pretty much just the, uh, the basics. So again, it'll be the uh, remote start, being able to view the GPS location, um, you know, lock and unlock the vehicle, and also view the uh, battery voltage. So we're just going to take this end of the harness right here, and you can see it just plugs in right there. This part, which is the blue connector of the main harness. So you have three plugs on this side. You have a white, a black, and a black. We are going to use the middle black one. Sorry. We're going to use the blue ones on this side. And that's just going to plug in until it clips together. The middle black is going to go to the uh, StartX remote start module. And so now we'll go up front and we'll take care of that. Alright guys, so this is the uh, harness from the StartX. And let me see if I can show you guys. Hopefully I can get in enough room right there. Let me try and get that to focus. So it's that blue connector that we're looking at, and it'll be labeled on this side. Hopefully you guys can see that it says RF kit. So coming off of the remote module, again, we're going to use that this center black connector right here, and that's just going to plug in to that. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of a tight spot, so I really can't set a tripod up. Um, to do this, but it's all we're going to do is just make that connection and that's it All right guys, so now that the connectors done as far as the uh, actual physical connections, that's it um, You don't need to connect anything else like I said. We're not using the uh, Power wire or the negative or the signal wire um, Everything's done at this point. 
So now we just basically have to program it. Um, you're going to want to download the app, and uh, I'll put a link to that app as well. And just follow the uh, the instructions to configure it. It's really easy. The protocol that you're going to want to use again, this is with the 2021 Rav4 push to start with the Stardex mo Stardex module, and you're going to choose the uh, Fortin protocol. And uh, the directions, you know, if, if you're going to follow along from the uh, car link directions, um, you are going to choose for the Evo All. Um, but like I said, this is a, you can see it's, it's very simple. Um, you know, pretty much everything is done. Like I said, uh, I'll bring you through on how to program it um, as far as the module. And then I'll show you a video of everything uh, functioning. All right, guys. So this is the Stardex module right here. Uh, one thing I do want to say is uh, before you start getting ready to do the uh, programming, uh, make sure you have your remote fob with you because you will need to... Uh, Turn the ignition of your vehicle on. Um, if you are not familiar with how to turn it on without starting it, um, just don't put your foot on the brake when you push the start button and the first push will turn your car to the accessory mode. Uh, it's basically like the first click of a, uh, a regular key start and then just to put the ignition in the on position you just press the uh, push to start button again. Again don't put your foot on the, the brake and it, you know then the car um, will just go to the ignition on but it won't actually start so this is the uh, program button right here and so the cable that we're going to disconnect is going to be this first one right here the black one and it, that just unclips and just pulls right out so that's that's easy enough so what you're going to do is you're going to push this button right here press it and hold it and then plug this in all right and then once we do that you're going to wait for the lights up here and the lights that you're wanting is the red and blue leds to come on All right, you're just gonna keep holding it until the red and blue ones are on, like that. All right, so that's that's easy enough. And then of course, take your finger off the uh, programming button. And then you're gonna press and hold these buttons again for five seconds until the uh, blue and red LEDs come back on. All right, so we're just gonna press and hold that. Now they're back on, so then we're going to release the programming button. Now we're going to put the ignition to the on position. So again, two presses without your foot on the brake. And so what we're waiting is for the red, yellow, and blue LEDs to come on. And sorry, my key was... Yeah, again, that's... All right, so now my key's on the seat because it was apparently in my pocket, which is too far. So let's do that one more time. So two presses, the ignition's on, and now you'll see that the yellow LED is on. And so now what we're gonna do is, once you see those LEDs blink, that means it's, it's programmed. So then we're just gonna turn the car back off. So one more press of the ignition. And now we should be uh, good to good to go. Let me go ahead and close the door to stop that annoying ding. And then I'll reopen the door. All right. And so basically what we want to do also is you're going to take a look here. All right, and you'll see that we have the... Uh, the green and, and red on and, and that's fine it's just going to take a second or two to to program but um, assuming that you've done everything with the uh the app side which um again you know just download the app and configure it it's very easy to do it walks you through step by step and then you'll open up the app and test it out and we'll do that right now all right guys so this is the app right here the uh car link and all we're going to do is press that uh, this first one right here. Yeah. 
and there we go so it started up and if you look right in the middle you'll see the timer and it starts from a basically I don't know why it does that 34 minutes in about 10 or 15 seconds it'll actually go back to the uh, 15 minute countdown um, as far as I can tell there's no way to change that and it is uh, 15 minutes all right and so you have the uh, door lock and unlock and uh, you'll have GPS location on here you can see the signal I don't know if you can see this last uh, one right here how good you can see that but it shows you the battery voltage and if for some reason you were deciding like uh, you know I, I don't think I'm gonna go to lunch yet or oh, I forgot something in the store and I don't want my car running for that long so you press this one and it turns the car off so that's uh, that's really nice to have and uh, that's all there is to it and now you can start your car from anywhere that you have cell service all right guys so the last part of the video um, since the manufacturer of this doesn't mention anything about where to mount this they tell you that this door should be uh, it basically should be mounted like that um, I guess that's where the GPS is and uh, the other side um, so right here they tell you this side down but otherwise they don't really have any uh, suggestions on where to mount it and they do tell you uh, three inches away from a metal surface um, so you can see these grooves right here and they, they don't mention it but I'll assume much like um, you know there, there's a lot of uh, companies that, that make those grooves and it's for zip ties so it'll actually hold the zip tie in place and uh, let me get one out here and I'll, I'll show you that so you can see that that zip tie sorry fits in there perfectly and has a little bit more room um, you know if you're going to use a wider zip tie so what I ended up doing was so I'm trying to get a shot for you okay so under the steering column sorry it's a little dusty you'll see these little metal tabs where this plastic cover mounts um, right there and you can see I've zip tied around three of them and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to mount the uh, the unit here with some zip ties around those zip ties so it pulls it down so it's not rattling around um, it shouldn't rattle at all it's you know it's plastic it's pretty lightweight but it'll, it'll be secured pretty good um, and if for some reason it does you can always put like a piece of velcro or a piece of felt underneath to stop it from rattling um, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete all right guys hopefully you can see those loops now uh, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense and then we'll just slip the uh, the unit inside of that you can see it's all zip tied down and you'll also notice of course that I put the uh, the light facing out so I can see what the signals doing um, you'll see right now it's a solid green and solid red which means uh, it has cell signal and GPS lock all right Hopefully you guys found this video uh, helpful. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to the channel.